morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Yes. Sons. Yes, how you doing? All right, carry on. Dude, did you see what he's wearing? Looks like a clown on crack. Yeah, man, it looks like he got in his great uncle's clown suit. <laughs> you know what? I think he's trying to be like that one clown, you know what I'm talking about, with the huge, like, all that. Kind of like him. <laughs> hey, Craig. Did you get into your mom's makeup again? <laughs> you know what? Check it out, Kagan. It's the new line of shadow. Yeah, but you know what? That lipstick, it don't work with your eyes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Craig. How long did it take for you and your mom to play makeup before you actually got the hang of it? <laughs> don't you ever say anything about my mother. Get off me. Craig, forget about that. Yeah, run along with a little freaky friend, Craig. Tu fratem de reyes a tintimo repes. Na nostra otio valde proper proper in quat. Who's that? I don't know, probably some freaky voodoo stuff. You know how weird them goths are. Yeah, let's get out of here. Maybe next class, let's go. Get in the midst of It's like they running in the fast lane and keep tripping. Sitting around the school thinking life ain't right. Miss Galilee chilling right, right outside. So catch a clue. I'm chopping it up for me to you. Know when she's on duty, helps me get through. Cause problems will come. She's got them songs. So when I'm in the valley of death, I fear none. Hello? Hello? I'm not sure who this is or why you're playing on my phone, but please stop calling me. Morning, Miss Pelton. Good morning, Dixie. How hey, you drop all your stuff. Thanks, Dixie. You're a big help. No problem, Miss Pelton. You know, you should get you one of them little carts my grandma has, you know, carry all your stuff. In fact, my grandma has two of them. She's, I think she stole them from a laundromat a few years back. Thanks, Dixie, but I think I'll be okay. You sure? Because I can roll one up here tomorrow, no problem. I'm sure. Good morning, students. Uh, tomorrow we have a quiz. Really, Miss Chaplin? What did you tell us about that? It was in the class schedule I handed out at the beginning of the year. Yes, Miss Pickens? What if we lost our thoughts up in a chicken fight? A chicken fight? You should have seen them. Annie Bertha and Annie Anna were trying to take each other out. Then all of a sudden I hear Annie Bertha going, And Bertha just starts going, You can sit down now. Oh, guess I got a little carried away. You <laughs> <I> did. <laughs> well, I got my test schedule laminated, Miss Chaplin. You know, so I wouldn't lose it or like spill something like nail polish on it. You prove yourself every day, nerd. Yeah, Janice. You're such a nerd. Nerd? <laughs> At least I'm passing my classes. At least some is prepared. We'll have a quick review and Mr. Nobles, nice of you to join us today. As I was saying before I was interrupted, turn to page 36 and read section A and B. Hey, why are you late again? My mom and dad were fighting again. Four o'clock this morning, I hear this really loud sound, so I jump out of bed to see what's going on, and my mom's just screaming. What happened? My dad, he was just yelling, blaming her. Why does he blame her? She didn't do anything. It's not her fault. You're I know, but he feels like he has to blame someone. I'm just really getting tired of all of this. Craig? Since you are the last one here, can you answer the first question on the review? Sure. The answer is no. <laughs> Craig, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> Janice! Yeah? What was that look back there for? Well, I wish you wouldn't make it seem so bad to me. You know, a nerd. We well, you know Janice. Being a nerd is pretty pathetic. At least I'm not a warrior princess wannabe! Yeah. Let's go, Howard. Do you have an excuse for being late today? Uh, no. Then you've got lunch detention with me. Whatever. I can't believe these kids can't put the books back in the right place.
Miss Belton, you look like you've seen a ghost. Did you see anyone? Like who? Are you expecting someone? No. I just thought I heard something. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mindy. Did your mommy make that outfit for you? Actually, no. My granny did. Did you hear that, girls? Her granny made it for her. Yep. Oh, her sweet old granny, please. Your granny only makes things for you because she's too cheap to buy them. Well, actually, if you think about it, Patty, time is more valuable than money. So technically, her making it herself would involve time, so it would be more valuable. And she's giving me sewing lessons, so I'm excited. Oh, wow. Her granny's giving her sewing lessons. <laughs> Looks like you might have made that outfit. That made no sense. The stitching on your shirt makes it look like it came from a bad sweatshop. <laughs> Wait. Actually, it's kind of cute. Thanks. Cute? It looks like a factory reject. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. I can't believe you think that shirt was cute. Whatever. Lighten up. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Whatever. Oh, hey boys. Hey. Well, hello, lady. Not you. So, Nash, do you want to take a walk on the wild side? Uh, no. Listen, prep boy, you might want to rethink that answer because I don't think you know who you're turning down. Okay. See ya. Oh. Hey, William. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do something? Um, um, no thank you. Well, Kagan, looks like you're all mine. Um, uh, uh, actually, I think my mom needed me to uh, wa wash my socks tonight, so I'm going to be a little bit busy. Um, so I got I gotta go. Yeah, um, me too. Uh-uh. What losers? <laughs> Miss Pelton, are you okay? Everything is fine. Why? Did someone tell you something? No, you, I, you just look like something's the matter. No. Oh. Never mind, Miss Galilee. Miss Belton, if something's bothering you, I'm more than glad to listen. No offense, Miss Galilee. You are wonderful when it comes to the kids and their problems. But this is not only personal, but it's a very serious and dangerous problem. Okay. But you know, if you change your mind, I'm always around. And listen, put your trust in God. He can get you through anything. Okay? Man, he looks like a clown with all that makeup on. Nah, big old nah shoes. dude, look at that. He's got a hobo jacket on. What's up with that, man? <laughs> man, look at that nose. He looks like a dolphin. <laughs> oh. Hey, you need to fix something with that hair, dude. So I got out of bed. Is that a lip ring? And you miss your ear? He missed Guys, his ear. leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, you do nothing. Uh, come on, let's go. He's even worse, man. Yeah. So, the old bat chatling gave you lunch detention? Punch detention. Who ticked off the old bat? I mean, Miss Chaplin this time. So what'd you do? These two seem to have some kind of a problem here. Okay, what's the problem? Sandra? Why are you looking at me? Why do you always think I'm in trouble? You're the one with the guilty look on your face. No wonder you're a janitor. You can't read a face, you probably can't even read a book. 
didn't do anything. Chaplin just likes to mess with people. Craig, what's going on, sweetie? Like you care. I do care. Yeah, whatever. Well, listen, if you feel like talking, I'm always around, okay? Craig. Craig. Shouldn't you be in class right now? Yeah, so what? Well, you better hurry. Is everything all right, Craig? Yeah, I'm fine. And what's with all this caring stuff today? Some of the teachers have been talking about you falling asleep in class lately. I'm just really tired. Is something going on at home? Everything's just peachy. Is it your parents? That ain't none of your business. Have you tried talking to them? They're too busy yelling at each other. It's not like they'd hear me anyway, and it doesn't help that Armando's been bothering me all week. Well, have you tried talking to Miss Galilee? No, I'm fine. I could help by dealing with Armando. Don't waste your time. Miss Galilee. Miss Galilee. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen any strange visitors wander around the school today? No, why? Miss Morgan said she, one of the students saw a strange man walking around the campus. Well, you know, Miss Pelton was acting a little strange this morning. How so? Well, when she came out of the library, she looked like she had seen a ghost. When? And she asked me, had I heard or seen anything? When was that? A little while ago when I was making my rounds. Would you mind going to speaking with her? She might open up to you a little bit better. I tried, but she said I could only handle kid problems. Miss Pelton would never say a thing like that. I know. I don't understand. And you know, just me, my family, a whole bunch of guys just go surfing, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So, what homework do you have for us tonight, Armando? Well, I was thinking that I have, you know, history Armando, and I gotta go surf. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, you ladies stay here and uh, I'll be right back. Don't worry, we'll be right here. Sweet. You like him, don't you? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Well, whatever. Have a seat. Uh, look, Miss Pelton, if it's about that overdue library book, I can explain. What? See what I, uh, never mind. Everyone knows you are a great guy inside, Armando. Yeah, but I'm not soft, Miss Pelton. I didn't say you were soft, Armando. I said a great guy. Yeah, I know it could be a charmer at some times. Mm-hmm. I need to talk to you about Craig. Craig? He's the one who should be talking to you. Have you seen him lately? He hangs around with Sandra so much, he's wearing her makeup. Everyone has their own style, Armando. Style? Wearing girls' makeup is not a style. That's trying to be a girl. He wears more makeup than you, Miss Pelton. I know he's a little different, but he's having some problems at home, and I need you to back off. Man, we all got problems. Why are you so concerned about him? Armando. Don't worry, Miss Pelton. I'll be done with him in a few days. Today, Armando. Today? Or better yet, I wonder if your grandmother would like to come over to my house for dinner after <sighs> church Sunday. I could whip up her favorite key lime pie for dessert. Fine. Today. I knew you were a nice guy. Miss Pelton? Yes? When you came out of the library this morning, you asked me if I'd seen anyone. Yes. Were you talking about a man? You've seen him? No, I didn't, but um, I heard one of the students telling Miss Morgan that she had seen a man in the hallway. Did they say what he looked like? Well, they said he was tall and big and had, like, dreadlocks. It's my ex-husband. It's okay. I'm on my way to the office with my papers. What papers? My resignation papers. I have to leave. I've been moving around for three years to get away from him. He finds me every time. Have you told Mr. Suggs or Officer Price about this? No one knows. Well, we don't want you to leave. I don't know what else to do. I have to keep running. <laughs> you have no idea what he's capable of, and I don't want anyone to get hurt. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I 
I think I cried my contact out. <laughs> Excuse me for a okay. minute. I better go to the restroom to fix this. Miss Pelton, I'm praying for you. And listen, everything's going to be just fine. Thanks. Okay? there's too much of me to keep to one girl. But there's two of us. Yeah, but that's still not enough. I mean, it'd actually be kind of selfish of me. Aww. Hey, well, you remember last year when I helped you with your chemistry homework? You let me hold your hand in the hallway. I think I remember that. It was the best five minutes of my life. I like that, huh? <laughs> Hey, look what the circus left behind. Look, Armando, I know you don't like me. She got that right. Hey, listen. Look, I know we have our differences, but we need to put them aside. For what? Miss Pelton's in trouble. Someone's trying to hurt her. Someone's trying to hurt Miss Pelton? Well, why'd you say so, jerk? Patty, can we talk? What do you want, geek? Listen, I might be a geek, but Miss Pelton is in trouble, and we need to help her because she needs our help now. Why don't you say so? Let's go. Get back here, woman! Ah! Who do you think you are? You this can never leave me! Hey. Get off me! Hey! Hey! Who hey. 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 do you think you are? You gotta get hey. through me! Hey. You gotta get through me, buddy! You, you gotta, gotta, you gotta, you gotta get through me! You gotta get through me, too! You gotta get through me, too! And me! All of me! And me! And me! And me! And me! And me! And all of us! You ain't even worth all this! You ain't nothing, and you ain't will ne you'll never be nothing without me. You ain't worth nothing, woman. I, I, you know what? A wall of kids can't stop me. I'll be back. All right, come on. You're I'll be back. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I finally feel like the nightmare is over. I love you all. Miss Galilee, why would you all put your own lives in danger for me? Miss Milton, let me tell you about a story from a long, long time ago. It's from the Bible. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 12 and 13. And Jesus said, this is my commandment, to love each other as I have loved you. There's no greater love than what lay one's life down for one's friend. See, we love you. We, we'd do anything to protect you. Thank you, Miss Galilee. Man, it's crazy ex Crazy. Crazy. Crazy? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Crazy like, ex you, cra can go, you can go there and you can see a hole in the wall. I did that with his head. Really? Really. No, you anyway, go there, it's proof. Anyways, this crazy ex husband came in and started chasing Miss Pelton, but we took care of it. Well, good job. Thank you. Well, I just want to say that. I just want to say that. Say what, Patty? You know what? Forget it. Fine, bye. Saying, I dare that ex-husband to come back one more time. I'll grab him by his drawers and I'll pull it up and give him a wedgie. Like I did that nerd. Ha, I got you, buddy. 
I got you. Just wait. That's Say your prayers tonight. Because I got you. Uh, I got you. He won't do anything about power. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab him. He won't let him. I'll you know break him down. Do you know what I would have done? What? I would have given him a jolly good old English. What's that? I don't know. Alright. I would have given him just, one just though. Just, just. I, I, I bet you. Anyway, I'll put him. I'll put him. I think you we're would. surrounded by weirdos. Thank you. Man, I would have pinched him. Yeah, you go. Uh, Wait, I, I mean, all? I mean, Bitch. give him a black eye. Yeah, that's, hey, that's that's black eye. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. That's wow. 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 Lee, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the? Hey, what the queen? That's a cut down. Come, come with me. Angels ride by your side When you let faith be your guide So take your time, see the light And come with me Hey, G-A-V-E-N-L-Y